Hello, I'm going to show you the difference between our template and the template that you get uh, standard with Revit. So with Revit, there's two different templates that you can get. One is just your uh, regular uh, startup template, and the other one is your construction template, which I have open right now. Um, and that one's a little bit more sophisticated, so we use that as a comparison. Um, I don't know why they have two different templates. Uh, it doesn't make sense to me because when I'm designing in schematic design, I want to be able to quickly take that into a CD set. And that's how we have our setup. So let's go over. Let's, I'm hitting Control Tab, switching to our template. And let's just look at the components that we have loaded for you. Um, if we do our drop down, you'll see starting at the bottom, we have a nice window trim, which is, which is great, which has been a time saver, huge time save, saver. Um, you have your water heater, washer, you have your lights, which really help out. Um, you have your vanity ca uh, cabinet, uh, which is different than your just under-the-counter kitchen cabinet. Uh, you have all your toiletry, your TV, your dining set, stools, uh, a lot of sink components. You have a whole bunch of shelvings, which is nice. You have the trees, which come in both. Um, you have your refrigerators, your kitchen stuff, parking space, a nice downspout, which is good your outlets, which is good for electrical plan, and then all the kitchen stuff you'll ever need. I'm, uh, you know, I'm circling up here uh, if you're lost. And then a whole bunch of openings too. You have your regular opening, arched opening, generic opening. Um, those are all parametric, so you can, you can change those sizes. Furnaces, uh, electrical panels, a uh, whole bunch of dryers, again, more lighting, closet, a lot of closet things, and then chairs. And then how these work, Let's put, let's put in a couple of them just so you can see. Is that you can make different furniture arrangements. So we broke them into pieces. So if you want, you know, a love seat versus, you know, a big sofa, you'll be able to make sort of any kind of furniture arrangement that you want. And there is a larger sofa. And then if you want a love seat, you just bring those in and make a love seat. So let's go back to components. And I think we're almost through. A uh, bunch of bed, beds, uh, bench, which is really nice to have, uh, and your air conditioner. So let's hit Control to Tab and see what the other guys have to play with. Control Tab, this is your basic Revit set. Let's go to Component. Let's have a look. You have a trailer, you have a metal support and apparently a wood thing. Um, so we think that we give you a little bit more to play with. Let's go look at the windows too. So this is our template. In the windows, we have a whole bunch of sizes and different types. So you have your awnings, you have all your different types to choose from, just pick and click, put it in your walls. Casement windows, fixed windows, and I think our last category after fix is your single hung. Um, let's look in do our doors as long as we're here. So in our doors, you have your bifolds, doubles, uh, double glass, interior pocket. You have your um, garage doors, single flush, uh, single flush with glass, sliding two panels, three panels, and sliding closet. Now let's go back over to the Revit one, the one that you just get standard. Let's look at the, not the walls. Let's go back, look at the doors. You have single flush. Um, that's about it. And windows, you have fixed. And that's about it. And as long as we're over here, let's look at the walls that they give you. Here you go. You have a couple different walls, mainly generic um, interior partition walls. Yeah, more than more than I thought. Uh, let's go over to ours. Let's go over to our walls. Here we go. Let's go. Let's oops. Let's go all the way up. So we label them a little bit different um, because we make our walls a little bit different. Uh, we have some videos that can show you that uh, on our blog. But we got our exterior framing walls, then our exterior finish walls, whole bunch of different types. 
uh, our foundation walls, and then our interior walls all laid out for you. Okay, so that's a kind of look at the components. We get let's look at the views. Um, so what what we have set up right now is you know let's just talk about our main floor plan. We have a and the same is true for the lower and then the upper floor plan. So in our main floor plan, we have it set up so that you can have your electrical plan, your HVAC plan, um, your demo plan, uh, your existing if you have existing conditions. And then we have a presentation plan that turns off. Um, the dimensions and the tags. So if you want a cleaner version, uh, rather than you know the main floor plan that that you're working on, which can sometimes get dirty. So that's true for your lower floor plan um, has all those, and then your upper floor plan has all those. And then, and then we have the reflective ceiling plans too. Let's tab over. No, nope, we're still in the same thing. Let's tab over. Here we go. Level one, level two. Top of footing, top of basement slab. Let's look at uh, their section. I think on one of their sheets they have their section. So this is one of their sheets. Here we go. So this is how they have their level set up. So if you were drawing a wall and it went from level one to level two, and then if you're drawing a wall and went from level two to level roof. So if you know if you're building, uh, you know, in the real world, where's your floor box going to be? Is your wall going to run into your floor box? Are you going to have to manually drag it down? In our template, what we have, if we just go to the section, okay, there's our little furniture. We have it so when you run your uh, your wall from the main top of subfloor to the main top of plate. You can insert your floor box right in this little gap, and then you can put your other wall from your upper top of subfloor to your upper top of plate. And then you can run your exterior wall all the way up and connect it. So um, we feel that's a benefit because that's the way it's made in construction. That's the way that you'll do it, and it'll be a hassle if you do it the other way. Uh, so there is. Uh, let's look at our views too. So one thing uh, we've already made some gradient views for you, um, and we've changed the colors. If you go back to the regular template and you look at one of their views, um, they don't have gradient. And when you put on the gradient, let's, um, I'm not going to do it right now, but it, it's, 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 it's a, you can see uh, on our website, it's actually a pretty ugly color um, where we made ours a nice, pretty gradient. Pre pretty gradient. Uh, okay, let's scroll down. We got our elevations, um, legends. Schedules. They have some schedules too. We think ours are put together a little bit more better for uh, residential construction and what you need rather than a whole bunch of random ones. And then we have a whole bunch of uh, sheets laid out for you so that you're ready to go. They don't have, if we tab over, <coughs> excuse me there, it's all a little wrong. <coughs> they don't have the sheets set up for you. Uh, like we have and then we have it numbered so that you can add in more sheets if you need it so you can add in let's say you needed to add in a, uh, a blown up floor plan uh, for any reason you could put a 2.1 uh, and put that in there so uh, that in, in a nutshell is uh, our templates versus their templates we also have uh, a bunch of detailed components that they don't have. Let's go to annotate component, detail component. Uh, when you're doing sections, we have a break line, um, flash and cap. Uh, Whole bunch of things in here that will make your detailing uh, and your sections a whole lot easier. Um, so, anyways, that's just a brief overview. I didn't go uh, into depth on everything, but I hope that kind of lays out some of the benefits for you. Thanks. Bye.